was um, attending a church here in the port and uh, we had um, some people come out from the Philippines and we, a group of us ended up going over there. So that's how I... And, well, when those people came out, we had all these little kids' faces and we could pick one. There was lots of little kids there. So, yeah, so it's been a while since I've done it, I suppose. I don't know how many years now, but it's been a while. Whether the government's corrupt, well, I know it was. People who sponsored kids um, donated a library, and so yeah, all the kids were there yeah, reading books and things like that. So they, that was part of their schooling there. The bottom line is the poverty of the country, and um, like I, I went to. Um, South Africa a couple of years ago. I saw a lot of poverty there too, especially especially in Swaziland. Basically, I guess it's just poverty that, that makes me want to help. We've got, we're such an affluent country, you know, and um, I have heard people say, you know, oh, charity starts at home, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we've, we've got millions and we're just so blessed compared to some of these other kids and around in other countries, it's just, it's mind blowing really. Well, I guess it's satisfaction that I've been able to do something to help somebody. Because the money doesn't just go to the child, it goes to the, the village as well. So it helps other people, and so I guess it's um, community, I suppose, helping the community better themselves. Well, I'd say it was great because, um, you know, you're helping not just, the, as I said before, not just the child, but you're helping the whole community. And um, and some of these communities, they haven't even got running water, you know. And this village that we went to in um, Manila got flooded, you know. And yeah. Anyway, um, so I guess I guess it's just something that people could do. Mm -hmm.